For the state of Michigan, when carrying out your skills, all of your supplies will be displayed on a table um, before you enter into the room. So you would just need to gather your supplies before you enter into the room. But before you do that, you will always have to sanitize your hands because we always sanitize our hands before we gather our supplies. So making sure that you apply enough hand sanitizer to cover all surfaces and then continue rubbing until dry. The skill that I will be demonstrating is feeding a dependent resident. And the supplies that you will need would be, of course, the meal tray. You want to check the uh, menu card to make sure that is the right food for the right person. And then when you enter into the room, you will also have to identify the resident by asking them what their name is. You will also need a clothing protector and, the pen and, and your output, intake and output form. So you will have to record the percentage of food that they've eaten, it will be applesauce, and then you'll have to measure the uh, intake for two liquids. You must always remember, remember to sign your documentation as well. Depending on how you choose to do hand hygiene for the skill, you can either use two washcloths, one for washing and one for rinsing, then you'll need a towel for drying. You also have the option of using white pads. And after you're done, you want to make sure that you dry their hands or you may use hand sanitizer. And again, you would have to apply the hand sanitizer onto their hands and rubbing until dry. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, hey. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm your CNA and I brought your meal for you. Can you tell me your name? Valerie. Okay, Mr. Valerie. Put that down and sanitize my hands. How are you, Mrs. Smith? Hi. Your food is coming too. Okay. Elevate your head a bit. So your head must be elevated anywhere between 75 and, and, and 90 degrees. You elevate your head a bit to prevent you from aspirating or choking. my hands again. Are you comfortable? I think I'm going to lose the pillow. Oh, I can fix the pillow <laughs> for you. Good. Let's use your left hand first. You only have to apply enough to cover all surfaces. to rub it in my hands first before I apply it to yours. Too bad they don't make this stuff smell good. <laughs> oh. Use it all the time. The least they can do is make it smell good. <laughs> I agree with you, Miss Valerie. That's one option. The next option is to use the wipes. I have my towel, paper towel, ready.
remove my gloves and sanitize my hand. Now you have to be so careful during the feeding still because if I'm touching equipment, if I'm touching my body, um, I would need to re-sanitize my hands again. Okay, let's put your clothing protector on and we use this to, as it says, protect your clothing. Other options could be place a towel around her or a napkin. Would you like to start off with some sips of water? Sure. Okay. Here we go. Protect your dignity by wiping your mouth. Let's see what we have. We have, oh wow, some beans. Um, rice and potatoes and a little like casserole type thing and we also have some applesauce what would you like to start off with first applesauce applesauce okay well to get your taste buds going right <laughs> yeah so we just put a little bit at the tip i love applesauce too what else would you like to try? Hmm, let's try the casserole. Okay. okay. So I want to make sure I just tip, uh, um, you know, try to remove as much of the applesauce off the spoon. And we do that by tapping it on the, on the edge so we're not mixing food. Now, normally for dessert, we have a separate um, spoon for dessert, but at the state they may see, make sure that you're not mixing food. So just kind of give it a little tap. And then, there we go. How is that? Mm. Would you like some um, liquid? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Now, if I had soup, if we were serving soup, then I would you know, just drip a little on my wrist to make sure that it wasn't too hot. And then using like some tissue, you can uh, wipe it off. Whatever you use there. Everything's good napkin to wipe off your hand. Okay, what else would you like to try next? Mm, more casserole. Casserole? Okay. I love the smell of this. It smells so good. So have a routine when you're feeding. I recommend give them two bites of food, sips of liquid, and then wipe their mouth to protect their dignity. So would you like some more? Like some more applesauce? Sure. It's my favorite. Okay. Would you like some juice or cherry? Okay. Now I would I want I want to demonstrate what we would do if the person had a stroke in one side this week. So we'll say that you have left-sided weakness. We feed on the right side. So this is the right side, and we would feed on this side. There you go. And let her drink on this side. Now, for some residents, a straw may not be appropriate because if they have dysphagia um, and they're at risk for aspirating, then we would not use a straw. All right. Would you like some more applesauce? Mm -hmm. 
how to, or the next thing that I want to do is read is what to do if you suspect that someone is pocketing, they're not swallowing their food. Mrs. Jones, I don't believe you're swallowing your food. Here, let me check. Mrs. Jones, you have to swallow our food, so I'm going to help you by working the food toward the center of the mouth, and then gently stroking on the sides of her neck to help encourage her to swallow. All right, let's see if you swallowed it. Uh, very good. Well, let's follow with some liquid to make sure that you have washed it down. All right. Would you like some more applesauce? Sure. sanitize my hands. Mrs. Smith, um, I'll be right there to take care of you in just a moment. Have a good afternoon. You too. Okay, for the state of Michigan, you will be asked to calculate the intake of two liquids and applesauce. So, for the water, I would estimate that they drink about three quarters of this water, so that's about 180 milliliters. And then for the other drink, that's about half gone. So 180 plus 120 is 300. And then the percentage of the applesauce that was taking, taken out. So I would estimate that she ate about 25% of the applesauce. So we always have to document our, our measurements. So glass one, we said 120, glass two was 180, and then for the food intake, we said 25%. This is uh, Valerie um, Jones, and 